Hello crocheters, Anna is here. Today I'm making a completely different project. I decided to make the pillowcase because my friend Barza is coming and I would like to give her a really cute uh, cushion. So I'm gonna be using the chenille, chenille, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, yarn, uh, two colors, white and the gray and hook number seven so grab your hooks and stay with me i'm sure this is the easiest project i ever done even for beginners so what i need to start with i will make all around the my pillow cushion this actually cushion i will make all around the pillow the chain so I start with the simple loop. I'm grabbing yarn in these two fingers, roll over here, roll over the second one, and going inside the first loop, go to the second, and again go back to this one. And from here, I'm start to making a single chain. I don't really need to calculate it, how many, uh, uh, chains I have because I will just measure my cushion and I will know so grab your cushion and start to making chain This is a repetitive pattern, so every row will be the same. So no need to be worried when I show you one, two rows, you can finish all pillow case by yourself. right if i can check but i think it's still not there yeah okay i'm sorry unfortunately the pillow doesn't fit the camera size so i will be showing you little bit elements Another checkup. Okay, still a little bit left to go. Okay, I think we're there. So if you made a chain of size of your uh, cushion, all right, when you have a size of your uh, cushion around, if you measure it, so now we need to connect uh, front and back. So check it make sure then it doesn't twist on the way this yarn is very easy to to check okay and place your hook in the first stitch and make slip stitch inside one and two okay and now make chain of two, one and two, and put single crochet to the first chain, and single crochet to the second one. So we will be making all around single crochets 
till you finish all case and then we will decorate the front so that's all actually what you have to do single crochet all the way all right finish this row of the single crochets i will show you how to connect the end and make another row I am about to finish first row, the few last few stitches left. Okay. All right, the last one, and in the final one. The, the one left so I will put slip stitch in the last or first actually chain that and now I will make chain one and place the uh, uh, hook and another stitch to the same place how I started to the same so another one single crochet and keep going all around So this is our second row. So you have to keep doing it till all your cushion case is ready. So that's very simple uh, stitch. You don't need to do anything. Just let me check my size. Right it will definitely fit right so let's keep crocheting till the end and then we will connect the front and back close it we make front decoration and i will see you there and now I start to crocheting the bunny body. So I draw on my pillow the, the bunny shape, how you can see. And now I just need to follow the shape. So I am going to have um, velvet yarn for this. Let me see. And I start from the simple loop and chain. How you start you putting yarn in two fingers roll over this one roll over there hold it and go at the bottom top again from the top and that's when you're ready so i will make a chain one two three four five six six seven eight nine ten and i will be using this drawing as my template so i have a 10 i will make two more probably 11 12 11 12 that's my size of the bottom so i need to place one more and then put single crochet in the second chain and go till the end So I got a 12 of those, okay, let's go till the end. And the last one is always difficult to get in. Okay, 
and at the end each round you will make one single crochet one chain i mean one chain all right so in every line i will be checking with my template and adding or removing the pieces so i can add one more here so i flip it the other side and make another round of single crochets and I increase a little bit here about one okay Okay, I reached the end. Let's see how it look like. And this here, so I will add one more to increase it here. One more single crochet in the same uh, chain and chain one and turn the other side and going back. So we are increasing because we are making the, the bottom of the bunny okay and at the end also two uh, single crochets in one um, stitch so let's see so how you can see the body is increasing the size yeah so another one again we increasing two single crochets in one and two single crochets in one and keep till you reach this point and then you start to removing single crochets on the side so keep your template and yeah just adding and removing one on each side and that way you will finish all the shape i'm starting make the ears for the bunny i would like my ears be really really huge and fluffy fluffy so they will go through all the body so all the pillow they will be really massive so let's get started i start with magic ring and i will place four single crochets inside one two three and four i tighten the yarn in less if less uh, single crochets you have at the beginning in the magic ring then more pointy shape you will have so i will place now two single crochets in the each stitch so that way i will have an eight at the end three and four and five six and the last one seven and eight and eight okay all right I will put my stitch marker now in the last 
uh, stitch and I will increase by one. So I will make one single crochet and there another one, I will make two single crochets in one stitch and another one single crochet and two single crochets. Two single crochets calls increase. So I'm saying one single crochet and increase. And again, one single crochet. And the last one is two single crochets inside the one stitch, which is increase. All right. So how you can say, we start to have in pointy shape now. I will place my stitch marker in the last and I will keep increasing. So again, this time I will make one, two, and increase one two and increase so like one one increase one one increase and increase and one two and increase one two and increase one two and the last one increase right we still keep increasing Another row will be one, two, three increase. So let's go one, two, three increase. One, two, three increase. Okay. And again, one, two, three, and increase. Mm. Oopsie, increase. And one, two, three, and increase. For another three rows, I will make single crochets all around. So one single crochet in each stitch. So make three rounds that way and I will be back to make another round of the ear. For another round, I will make four single crochets and increase. So I'm still increasing. I will make one, two, three, four, and increase. So two single crochets in one stitch. And again, one, two, three, and four. And again, increase. Finish this row the same way and follow by two rows of single crochet. So I'm thinking we might make two more rows of single crochets. So we will have four of those in total. And then we'll be decreasing the size. Okay, the ear look already huge, it's massive, so I will decrease now. 
So I will show you how to make the invisible decrease. So for another two stitches, you just grab the front part of the stitch. You don't take all of it. You just try to get front and the second one. So you have a three on the hook, get the yarn, pull through of two those, and you still have a two, grab the yarn, and pull through those. So this calls invisible decrease, but basically we, we, we call it decrease. So now I will make four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And I will make another invisible decrease. So one, two, grab the yarn through two, and another two and it's ready and another four single crochets. Two, three, and four. All right, finish this line with decreasing four and followed by two rows of single crochets. Okay, now I will make another decrease. So I will decrease and make three single crochets. Decrease, and one, two, and three. Okay, and decrease again. And one, two, and three and decrease and after this you follow by two rows of single crochets one two and three and decrease all right all right i will take the measure <coughs> how long the ears will be probably somewhere till here and i have uh, this gap yet so i might make um let's make four more rows four let's try four more rows of single crochet and then we little bit decrease till the end so from this point let's make four more I'm finishing my single crochets. So in total, I got six rows of single crochet. I move stitch marker at the top and I will reduce once more, uh, which will be decrease and two single crochets. One and two. And again, decrease. And two, one, two, and decrease, and one, two, and decrease, and two more, <clears throat> and what is it, one, and two. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Okay. So I need to check on my pillow how much I need, how much more I need. Okay. Uh, so I might make five, one, two, three, four, five, six, five maybe five let's make six rows of single crochet six rows six okay five okay <laughs> sorry for the mess let's make five rows of single crochet and then we will see what do we need to do next hmm. okay from now i will decrease one more time so I will make invisible decrease. 
and one single crochet and again decrease and one single crochet decrease and one single crochet and decrease again and one single crochet and from this point one more round of single crochet okay final here now let's see that's how it look like okay and I will finish till the end so it's gonna be one two probably and three and I close it with single crochet front and back so go there and there and just single crochet here one two probably four will be there three and the last one is four and that's our ear is ready um so now you cut the yarn but um you will leave a little bit longer tail here because we need to connect the ear with the body and with the pillow so oops, let's cut it and remove the remaining yarn and then you tighten up and that's one ear is ready make the same the second ear all right so what is necessary for our bunny? Oi, sorry, shake again. Um, obviously bunny tail. So we need to make bunny tail now. All right, so I start like always with magic ring. And I will make six single crochets inside the magic ring. one two three four five and six all right i will pull this tail to close this gap and make two single crochets in each chain so it will be 12 at the end one two three and four five and six in the next one six then seven and eight eight nine and ten eleven twelve and twelve all right so uh, from now i will increase a little bit the size so i will place my stitch marker in the last stitch and i will make one single crochet in the next one and two single crochets in the second one so i'm increasing then again one single crochet and two single crochets in the next and one and increase one and increase one and increase oopsie And the final one and increase one 
and increase okay and now i will make two rounds of single crochet so one single crochet in each stitch Okay, finishing one round, make one round more. Okay, I finished two rounds of single crochets and now I will make the final round where I decrease. So I will make the invisible decrease here and one single crochet. Again, invisible decrease. Oopsie and one single crochet decrease and one single crochet again decrease and one single crochet decrease and one single crochet and decrease again and final one single crochet so our tail is ready you also remove the yarn and uh, cut the yarn and leave a little bit tail to assemble okay remove the yarn from here make it a little bit tight so this is our tail they will go on the pillow in this place and we're gonna need a little bit stuffing that's where it will be okay my pillowcase is nearly finished how you can see the few stitches left and then I will close it from this side is is finished so uh, the last thing which I'm gonna do, I will make single crochet all the way this side and also this side. So I need to make few more rounds and then when I finish at the end, I will go with single crochet till the end to close them up. Okay, I reached my corner. Now I will start stitching, not really stitching uh crocheting the both sides so i will do the single crochet in each stitch till the end of the cover all right Okay, let's finish top and bottom of it 
and then we will stitch our bunny on the case that's how it goes all right i finished how you can see sides are done so now i will stitch my bunny so you can see i will stitch the body that's my body shape i think camera is not showing everything but that's how it's gonna be then here at the bottom i i will stitch the tail and at the top i will have the ears they will be connected like that and that will be ready so the bunny is ready everything is done beautifully i hope you enjoy the video enjoying me to watch more so enjoy your crocheting and see you soon in another video thanks bye